Okay, guys, so welcome, man. You guys, a long requested video on layout. In this video, it's a short video, guys. In like less than five minutes, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot about layout. How to get these corners and uh, how to lay out your top tracks. I'm not going to really get into how to uh, get into the layout from the drawings part. I'm assuming that you already know how to lay out from the drawings. And um, I'm going to be showing you the tricks on, on how to get these freestanding walls uh, laid out and set up. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, obviously, is you're going to make your marks. I like to mark both sides of the track, the inside and the outside. So regarding whatever size of wall you're uh, framing out, three and five eighths or six inch or whatever, uh, I like to do both sides and chalk line both sides. Okay, uh, when you're just doing, when you, sometimes you do have to make adjustments. Like here, I have to, I had to make sure I can at least drywall on the inside of the beam so that beam the drywall will finish straight across. Okay, I can move. You can move walls. Okay, don't always know that you can move walls. Right, so look out for things while you're doing your layout and make adjustments as required. And um, not you don't always need a change order order for every change you need. You're going to make a layout. Okay, it's just common sense sometimes. So get your bottom track laid out uh, and cut and shot on. Then this this right here is how to do we our centers. Okay, you're going to go 16 five eighths, thir uh, 32 five eighths, or or half inch because we're going to add that. Uh, half inch for the drywall in the corner there. Sometimes it's going to be straight 16, 32, 48, but know what you're drawing your centers off and know that you have to put the hard side facing out so that the drywallers know which way to drywall. The layout always has to be, so you have to start figuring out your layouts from the doorways, okay? Because you always want to make sure the door studs and everything that will work out, okay? Your full sheets and, your, and will wrap your doors properly. That's the most important thing. This right here is how we get the measurements for our top track. You simply put a pin laser in the corner right there and measure over. It's simple as that, right? You always put the pin laser in the outside corner, the farthest point out, and uh, measure out. I'll give you a little bit of a close-up on the other side here. Yeah, you see the pin laser there in the corner. And this is a sloped column, right? So the measurement's not going to be the same as the bottom, but the rest of the track along the way will be the same measurement as it was on the bottom. So then once you get this slope piece in, then you can just follow your track all the way around. This right here, we always split the beam on the bottom track, but this is how we put in the, the wall studs or the column studs, right? We shoot it up, square it in, make our marks, and then we shoot it in or screw in the stud up the walls, okay? That's important. Get your bottom track in, then the wall studs, and then we start our top track, okay? But even before you do that, you want to make sure all of your top track is already laid out. Okay, I kind of kind of jumped the gun there by showing you that part of the layout, but that's still a trick. This is a fishtail. Okay, How, you go two inches in and cut the center up and then overlap it. So every piece that you measure tight, you add two inches for a fishtail if you need to join the pieces together. All right, and you also want to make sure none of these joints land close to a doorway. Right, you want to go full piece back from the doorway. Okay, that's why those little four inch pieces in the door there. And then, uh, yeah. And then this is the doorway here, right? Your top track will run straight across. And you see how we overlap the corners. I'm sure you guys are going to be like pausing and replaying this video lots because I'm talking really, really quickly because there's a lot going on here. And I wanted to show you in the, in the shortest amount of po possible time. So you can see here, uh, when you're going through here, you don't need to laser up your marks. You can just follow the bottom track, add your two inches for the fishtail. Make sure you're always overlapping your bottom and top corners and you're cutting enough space for the drywall. As you'll see, you can kind of see right there, the little tab there on the bottom track, that's for the drywall to slip in and the floater will go in and lock it. I have all these, I have a lot more videos coming out on how to actually stand the studs up and drywall these corners and, and make sure everything's perfect. Like follow the channel, get subscribed and uh, watch out for the, all this whole series. We'll show you how right from layout to taping this, these walls guys, I already put out the door videos. So those are already there and I already uh, put up the drywalling, the door videos as well. So those are out. But um, I will link all those videos. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you um, how to how you're going to be able to lay out the doors even further, okay? But, uh, yeah, you can see here, so fishtail on the one end and a corner on the other. I cut the little extra up. So for 3 and 5 eighths wall and 5 eighths drywall, I'm going to cut it at a 4 and a big quarter, okay? That's the 4 and a quarter, even for half inch, it's, it's perfect, okay? You, you just want to make sure the drywall can slip in and nobody has to modify, cut the steel. And then when we get the steel up in the top, we'll, we're going to put screws in there so it's all square and mint. So our door header height, okay, 86 is a standard 3 by 7 
86 by 40, uh, 40 and an eight. Those are that is a standard door size for a three by seven. So we're going to go a half inch above the door. So our headers are going to be 86 half, and our door openings are going to be 40 quarter. Okay, so if you don't have the doors there, you can't measure them, just go 40 quarter on the opening and uh, go 86 half for the header heights. So you can see here, I only laser up the one side. I'm going to laser up the one side and measure over with my tape measure to the other. Okay, so it's, it's you don't laser up both sides. You only laser up the one side and then uh, measure over with your tape. So this is uh, basically the beginning and layout. This is really, really quick. Uh, I'm going to show you guys even more when it, as I'm showing you how to frame and all that and how to get these freestanding walls up. Uh, this video right here is how to actually do the rest of the headers. This is Chris, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.